You know, the first cocktail I ever made at the beginning of my bartending career was a Singapore Sling. It was 1977 and I remember when someone ordered one how panicked I was because I didn't know what the hell a Singapore Sling was. We didn't have the internet back then to look it up and there wasn't even a recipe book behind the bar. So I ran into the kitchen and asked, does anyone know how to make a Singapore Sling? One of the older line cooks shouted, gin and juice. Okay, <laughs> that's all I had to go on. So I whipped up the drink, sent it out, and to my surprise, it didn't get sent back. On December 1st, 1887, a hotel in Singapore called Raffles opened its doors to the public as a 10-room hotel. The colonial-style hotel was built by two Armenian brothers from Persia, Martin and Tigran Sarkis. It was named after a British statesman, Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles. He was best known for his founding of Singapore in, in around 1819 and promoted Singapore as a free trade city. Now at the Long Bar in Raffles Hotel, it was Neam Tong Boon that created the Singapore Sling. According to the hotel, he invented it there in 1915. But the problem with that date is 1915 seems to have been the year Neam Tong Boon died. So he would have had to invent a cocktail, make it famous enough to uh, attach his name to, travel over 2,000 kilometers to Hainan, and die all in the same year. So one would think that he would have invented the drink much earlier than 1915. And according to history, he was already working at the hotel by the turn of the century. An era when it was considered inappropriate for women to consume alcohol in public, <laughs> let alone a bar. <laughs> so while men would sip on their gin or whiskey, women would have to wait for them in a separate room. They would usually drink cold teas and fruit juices. So the thought here is that Neam Tong Boon saw an opportunity to create a cocktail disguised to look like fruit juice for the ladies sitting in the parlor. <laughs> a socially acceptable punch for them to drink. The first known reference to a Singapore sling was in a newspaper article dated 1897. Now we know that Neam Tong Boon did invent the Singapore sling, but clearly not the gin sling, which was a very popular drink at the time. And a very old drink, so old that the term sling was actually featured in the first printed definition of the word cocktail back in 1806. A lot of early bar books include recipes for both Singapore slings and straight slings. Jeez, you try and say that five times. <laughs> straight slings, straight slings, straight slings. Okay, anyway, <laughs> what's the difference you might ask? Well, nothing really. It's thought that the Singapore sling is probably a descendant of the straight sling and the original name of a Singapore sling. Now the real question is, what makes a Singapore sling a Singapore sling and not just your run of the mill, plain old gin sling? Well, mostly it's the pinkish red color that defines it. There's even mention of a pink sling for pale people. <laughs> In a Singapore newspaper from 1903, how these pink slings are related to a Singapore sling, well, nobody really knows. Some of the earliest printed recipes to the drink were in Robert Vermeer's 1922 book, Cocktails and How to Mix Them, Harry Craddock's 1930 Savoy Cocktail Book, and Patrick Gavin Duffy's Official Mixer Manual from 1934. They essentially call for a gin sling with the addition of cherry brandy. With countless recipes published over the years for this drink, there doesn't seem to be any two of them alike. Some recipes call for the addition of uh, Benedictine, some accounts call for uh, soda water, while others make mention of juice. Some are made with grenadine and some without. The original recipe got lost in the 1930s, causing dispute over what makes an authentic Singapore sling. So what then of Neam Tong Boon's original recipe? So the story goes, he kept his secret recipe in a safe, and that's where Raffles claims to have discovered it. But another story maintains that after his death, the family acquired the safe, only to find a piece of paper with Neam Tong Boon's name written in Chinese. A mystery indeed. 
So the original recipe gets lost in the 1930s, but luckily, <laughs> luckily a customer had it written on the back of an old cocktail napkin or a till receipt, a bar chit. <laughs> I said chit. <laughs> but there are some who insist that isn't the real recipe. Although Raffles Hotel claims the Singapore Sling has remained the same since 1915, it seems that the great debate over the original recipe will probably continue forever. <laughs> that said, <laughs> let's make a Singapore Sling. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, booze hounds, we're gonna make Raffles original recipe and I'm probably gonna tweak it a hair just for my own liking. So the first thing we want is some gin. Now I picked up a new bottle of gin, top shelf. I always like to experiment with my gins. So, you know, typically it's like an ounce, maybe an ounce and a half, but I'm going for two ounces. Yeah. You know, I'll be reviewing this uh, gin on Patreon in my next upcoming uh, newsletter, and I'll be making a cocktail with it too. So get on over there, <laughs> be a patron. Yeah, okay, let's move on. We got cherry hearing, that's our cherry liqueur. Cherry Hearing has an intensely aromatic nose of preserved cherries. At 24% alcohol by volume or 48 proof, it's made to a recipe dating from 1818 and matured for three years before bottling. Intensely aromatic notes of preserved cherries with almond and herbal notes. It's sweet with a viscous texture and intense cherry flavors. The finish is long, warm, and sweet. We want three quarters of an ounce. Sweet. And Benedictine. We're gonna go with uh, two teaspoons. Cointreau, that's our wonderful orange liqueur. And uh, again, two teaspoons. Next is uh, pineapple juice. Raffles uses uh, four ounces. Personally, I would probably only use two, but we're gonna use four. Okay. We need some fresh lime juice, okay? And uh, we only want about half to three quarter ounce of lime juice. It's a feel thing, you know? A little more. That's about a half a lime there. Okay, grenadine. We're using our homemade grenadine. Check it out how to make your own really good. Color might be a little variant from the store-bought stuff, uh, but uh, it just smells and tastes so much better. And we want a quarter to a third of an ounce of grenadine just to color it up. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, Angostura bitters. <laughs> Couple dashes. And that's it. Sounds like a lot of ingredients, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's gonna be worth it. All right, grab some ice. Fill up our shaker glass, and let's get to shaking. Slap a lid on and shake it. Shake it good. Just sling it back, baby. Give it a good shake, okay. Now, we got a chimney glass. A lot of times you'll see a, a hurricane glass used. I like the chimney glasses. Fresh ice. Just strain it out. Oh, look at that color. Sweet. Yeah, look at that. Look at that wonderful froth, eh? Now, a lot of times, it's an optional thing. You'll add soda water, but I'm not gonna do it for this one, all right? I'm just gonna put a straw in. I'm gonna put a lovely little garnish here. A fresh pineapple. And, uh, I mean, it's almost tiki, isn't it? A little cherry and an umbrella. And there we have a Singapore sling. Okay, let's make it another way. Now we're gonna make the straight sling. Two ounces of our fabulous gin. Yeah. 
followed by half an ounce of kirsch. And that's our dry distillate of cherries, unlike the uh, liqueur of uh, cherry hearing. Schloss Kirsch is made from the double distillation of Morello cherries and usually served it neat as an aperitif. At 40% alcohol by volume or 80 proof, it's intensely aromatic with a sweet cherry aroma. Flavorful yet dry, the palate follows the nose with vibrant cherry and cherry pit flavor. In the German-speaking region where Kirsch originated, it's usually served after dinner as a digestive. It's also the traditional spirit used in the making of black forest cake. Hmm. So half an ounce. And a half an ounce of Benedictine. Perfect. One ounce of fresh pressed lemon juice. Oh yeah, look at that. Two dashes of Angostura bitters. Two dashes of orange bitters. That's Angostura brand too. All of my bitters, yeah. Now you notice there's no uh, grenadine in this one, but uh, oh, it's smelling divine. Grab some ice. Shake her up. <laughs> Shaking it. Shaking it like a sling? I don't know. Shaking it. Sweet. Okay, I've got this wonderful little cocktail glass here chilling with uh, some ice water. Get rid of that. And just double strain it out. Oh yeah, leave a little room at the top here because we're gonna top this one with a little soda water. Not much. And we're gonna garnish with a fresh piece of orange. Look at the size of that puppy. A little Luxardo cherry. And uh, maybe a little, let's go crazy here. And just a little bit of uh, Fresh lemon peel. Look at how wonderful that looks. Okay, let's give this a try. Wow. It's really citrusy. A wonderful little libation. You know what? We should give this one a go too. <laughs> wow. This one is really, really uh, fruity and um, very tropical in a lot of ways. But this, uh, this is Raffles um, version, and this is an earlier version, perhaps. We don't know. Nobody knows. <laughs> the great debate continues. Cheers, make them, because they're both delightful. Really, they are. <clears throat> Time to sling these back, baby. Mm-mm. A good. And according to history, he was already working. Nah, what is it, the hands? Hey, hey. And according to history, and according to history, now you know. I'm on Patreon now. Yeah. For just a few dollars a month, you get access to things that nobody else sees. You get bloopers, you get uh, podcasts, newsletters, and sneak peeks. You get a whole whack of stuff that you're gonna love. So become one of my booze hounds and help support the show. 
the stuff gets expensive, and every little bit goes back into the show. Thanks in advance. Thanks to Don and David, the two viewers that requested I make a Singapore sling. And you know, it was actually Don that had an authentic Singapore sling at Raffles back in 1988. Anyway, mm, it's refreshing. Mm, it's citrusy. Anyway, hit the subscribe button, check some other videos out, and uh, make an authentic Singapore sling. I don't know.